So you have a page on your website whose link looks like this, but it's a bit long and it's not very catchy and you'd rather have a link that looks like this. This makes it way easier for you to be able to share the link with people and for other people to be able to remember the link. But do not, whatever you do, just go into your Squarespace website and change the link of your pages. This can lead to broken links around your website, error pages showing up and issues with your pages ranking on Google as well. So just keep that link or URL as it is, that's going to stay the same. But now what we want to do is create another link that redirects or forwards to your original link so that you don't break anything. So if you want to learn how to quickly and easily set these up right within Squarespace, then carry on watching. Okay, so I have this online course called Email Marketing with Flowdesk. I've got a page set up for it on my website. Um, and you can see if we go up to the top bar here, this is the current link or URL that will take people to this page. So borazana.co.uk forward slash shop forward slash p forward slash email marketing flow desk. Now currently that link isn't very shareable. It's quite long. It's not very catchy. It's going to be really hard for me to be able to remember to tell people what it is and it's going to be basically impossible for people to remember what that link is. What we want to do is come up with a link that is much more catchy and easy to remember and more shareable. And we basically want to set up a redirect so that when anyone types that link in, they automatically get sent to this link so that they view the page. In this case, we could create the link byrosanna.co.uk forward slash email or forward slash flowdesk or emf which is just the initials of the course. It's easy, it's snappy, um, it's something that I can put on graphics um, and send to people very, very easily. So to do this, what we're going to want to do is head into our Squarespace back end, go to settings, go to advanced, go to URL mappings, and this is where you can find all of your 301 redirects. Um, if you haven't set any up before, this will be empty. Mine is very, very full of lots of different links. And these are really important for um, if you're restructuring your website, creating new pages, things like that, which I've done a lot of in the past. Um, but I have a separate video and blog post all about 301 redirects and how to set those up um, if you're looking at deleting pages, stuff like that. Um, in this case, just follow my steps. Um, you don't need to worry about it too much. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we first want to start a new line. Um, obviously, if you're starting from fresh, you won't have anything there. And we first want to type in the link that we want to be using, um, that shortened pretty link that's easy to share. Um, so I'm just going to go forward slash EMF. Uh, the initials of the course. And you don't have to put in the rest of your domain, virazana.co.uk. That's just assumed that that will be there because I'm working on this site. And then we want to add in some characters just to tell Squarespace that we want to forward this link or redirect this link to the actual link uh, of the page, which is this long one. So you just have to type in some characters. It's part of their formula. You can see some examples down here, but you just need to go space hyphen and then forward facing arrow um, character space. And then we need to copy in the URL slug or the end of the URL for the actual page. So this is everything after your domain. My domain is byrosanna.co.uk. So everything after that we now need to copy, including the forward slash. So just highlight all of that, copy that, and then come back in to paste it in. What this redirect is saying is that byrosanna.co.uk forward slash emf should be a link that forwards to byrosanna.co.uk forward slash shop forward slash p etc etc. Now the next step is really important. Um, you need to add a space at the end after you've pasted in that original link and then the numbers 301 and that's just to do with the type of redirect it is really important that you add in that step and then just click save. So what that now means is we've created this kind of branded shortened link. If we go into Google or just into the top bar here and just type in barosana.co.uk forward slash EMF and click enter, that is now going to take us to the page. It's automatically redirected us to that original link because we've set it up in the URL mappings area. And that's all you have to do. I can now go and share that link barosana.co.uk forward slash EMF I can say it in my podcast, I can say it in my videos, um, and it's really quick and easy for me to remember and other people to remember. And it looks prettier as well if I write it down. 
So that was showing you how to create shortened links for pages on your website, but you can also set up these kind of redirects and branded links for other websites as well. So for example, if you do any affiliate marketing, if you have companies that you want to link to and you get given these affiliate links where if someone clicks on them um, and buys the product, then you get a commission back, their tracking links, Oftentimes they're pretty ugly looking like this and then definitely not easy to remember. Um, and so what you can do is apply the exact same thing that we've just done um, and go into your URL mappings again. And for this, uh, this tool is Flick Hashtags. Um, it's like a hashtag analysis tool for Instagram. Um, and what I want to do is create a link for this that is branded, so it's with my domain. So let's say byrosanna.co.uk forward slash Flick nice and quick and easy to remember. It's got my domain in it. So it kind of looks like I'm definitely a partner with this brand. Um, and we're just going to do space hyphen arrow space, um, and then paste in the full link to, uh, to that affiliate link. So rather than before, I just took what was after the domain, because this isn't on our website, uh, we need the entire link. So I'm just going to copy that and then come back here and paste it into Squarespace. And again, put that space and a 301 there um, and click save. And now if I was to type in barizana.co.uk forward slash flick into my search bar, that would then take me straight to the flick landing page and it's using my tracking link as well. Um, it's just redirected to the link. So any um, sales or commissions and stuff that I get from this, it will all be tracked back to me because it's just redirecting people to that link. It's not changing anything at all. So that's another use uh, that's really handy for creating memorable links to things. Give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful and I will see you again next week with another video.